And of course, give thanks, blessed love to one and all. Give thanks for your presence, the Honorable Priest Isaac here. Priest Kidemi, Shalom Isaac. Wonderful to be in your presence. And what I want to do at this moment here, I want to address a question, if you want to call it a question, that I seem to realize that no one that accepts the flat earth theory or theology has been able to answer. Now, it's no disrespect to whatever you may believe in. Please don't get me wrong. It's just obviously it is a wholesome discussion. Um, it is something that comes up from time to time. As you all know, I did a whole um, episode, an hour plus on the whole concept of if the world or the earth is really flat. I think I brought some good information within that. Um, but the specific point of the circumpolar stars, especially those in the south, up to this point, no one has been able to, you know, answer that. Don't get me wrong. Other things that we have said, you know, for example, we spoke about the mystics of the pyramids of Giza within our discussion on uh, on our YouTube channel, Priest Isaac's YouTube channel. Remember, we had that video: "Is the world, is the earth really flat?" You know. As I said, we went into the mystic of the pyramids, where within the pyramid, it shows you the curvature of the earth, right in the pyramid, the pyramid of Giza. Within the pyramid, it shows you the even the, um, the distance from the sun to the earth, you know, and all of these different things. Um, the, the gravity and all of this can be seen in the pyramid. Speaking of the, the, geom the geometry of the pyramid and how it has been built. Now, I'm sure the, the vast majority of us have a good understanding at least about the pyramid and the mystics thereof fair enough but now let's return to the stars this is my point my brothers and sisters please listen to me good i can only work with the flat earth theory as it has been given to me i cannot make it up so people that believe in this i gotta hear what they have to say because in my book it's not something that is is reality so whatever theory you're putting forward, I have to listen to what you're saying. And you're saying that it is flat. And what we call the North Pole is basically in the center of this flat frisbee type pancake disc. Am I correct? Good. Now, what we consider the South Pole does not really exist. Is that so? Right. And there is this ice sheet. I even heard a brother say one day that um, Elijah Muhammad said that the ice sheet is 150 um, feet high. Honestly, to be honest, I never knew Elijah Muhammad spoke of these things. So the ice sheet is is around the the you know the the, the curvature of the the flat Earth around the edges there of the border the ice sheet is basically the border and that is why all the water is kept in like it's in a bowl or in a glass good fair enough i'm just saying now in the southern hemisphere just like the northern hemisphere you have circumpolar stars in the northern hemisphere you see the little dipper the big dipper what they call the northern bear and certain other stars key fuss and these ones if you notice they just spin around the center they spin around the celestial north pole that's why they call circumpolar constellations which consist of circumpolar stars and the reason why you get this impression if you believe in a global earth or at least a spheroid or blade at least not a flat earth once you could see something of something spherical you will understand because of the rotation the impression that you get which is just sensible is that these stars which are not really moving at least not in the way that they appear to be moving but they appear to be just going around in a circle because you are the one rotating on this um, spherical object good this is why when you go to the southern pole now you get the same impression 
you see the the southern cross which is a great example just going around the southern celestial pole these stars do not really rise and set like the stars on the equator or even the stars in the zodiac belt that go as far as 23 and a half degrees both north and south of the equator they rise and set like the sun and the moon but those that are at the poles just like the earthly poles have this different relationship with the sun and how the sun sets and how the sun appears to rise and how long the sun is in the sky sometimes for weeks and months because of where they are positioned at the time and of course we all know the science the point is you know whether you believe or not you've already been given the science of the earth being 23 and a half degree and all of that you know in its leaning and the tropic of capricorn and the tropic of cancer and the spring summer utter and, and winter so even if you don't believe you know of it so we can work together because just say i don't believe in the flat earth theory but i'm working with what you are explaining to me and just trying to see how it can scientifically um, fit into you know common sense that's all no disrespect so this is why i'm saying now that in the southern well let's just say in peru and in australia and in south africa we're using these three places huh? these these are quote unquote the southern parts of the earth especially if it's a globe but if it's flat these are the outer edges good i'm saying here let's just say in peru midnight 11 o'clock tonight 11 o'clock tonight 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 this night what date is it the 19th of may 11 o'clock tonight from where i am in antigua when i look southwards i can see the southern cross basically standing erect now the southern cross again is one of those southern circumpolar constellation or circumpolar stars now if you were in the deep south like again to the south of peru you would see the southern cross it would not set it would just go around in a circle you'd actually see the southern cross upside down at sometimes which i've never really seen it upside down from where i am but if i was in peru there would be a time when i would see the cross the southern cross upside down because it's just going around in a circle but if you're in peru tonight tonight and even tomorrow night and the night after you will see the southern cross around 11 o'clock standing perfectly erect good now if you were to catch a plane and go to australia and you reach there by midnight or 11 o'clock on the same day the 18th or the 19th or the 20th of may in the south at 11 in the night you would see the southern cross erect again now i'm just trying to show you on a flat earth without going too deep into mathematics and geometry that is impossible that that's just point that's just simple as that that's as simple as i can put it that cannot happen listen to me i don't have to get too scholarly it just can't happen on a flat earth and then someone is going to say well those are not really stars they're balls that are hanging whatever they are whatever they may be they could be fly fireflies that are not moving the point is unless it's a glow it is impossible for you to be in southern peru and seeing the stars in a specific formation in a specific angle at a specific time and then now you're telling me when that time reaches south africa it sees the exact same thing on that same date and when that time 11 a.m in the night or p.m pardon me in the evening reaches australia new zealand and all of those places down in the south they're going to be seeing the same um, uh, picture as it relates to the southern constellations that you will see in peru when that time comes when that time comes 11 p.m in the night whatever date so it could be the 21st day of december 10 o'clock in the night whatever you see in peru is the same thing you're going to see in australia on the 21st day of december 10 p.m in the night because the earth is rotating 
It is the earth that rotates to meet the position of the stars that gives the impression that the Southern Cross is standing up at 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. Tonight, the 19th. Tonight is the 19th. So tonight, the 19th, like I'm speaking now, now I'm speaking, it may be, let's say it's 11 p.m. in Australia. No, no, no. When they look at the Southern Cross, when it's 11 p.m. tonight and I look at the Southern Cross, we are going to see the exact same thing. The cross will be in the same position. The ship will be in the same position. The Phoenix bird, all of these are constellations. They'll be in the same position. The Toucan constellation will be in the very same position. That doesn't make no sense on a flat earth. No sense. Don't even try to figure it out. Don't try to make up nothing. And this is what I personally am saying. Unless you can explain that properly, don't try to just make noise, you know. A lot of you, you make a lot of noise. You like to comment and a lot of noise and try to say, go and listen to this man, go and listen to that man, give some kind of URL um, code and say, check this out. Don't be checking out nothing. Explain what you want to say. Don't be no sheeple and no follower, man. Make sure you stand on your square because nobody can explain that. If you can explain that, not just give an explanation, explain it properly. Why you see the circumpolar stars and constellations like that in the south. Then we can continue the discussion. <laughs> yeah, we don't have no time to waste, man. This is distraction. This is a, this is a people rising up out of the Mary clay. Somebody, you following some uh, society that knows our prophecy and knows our destination. All of this is like a monkey wrench trying to keep us back from proper conversations. So yeah, I ain't moving on from this. I ain't going no further with this. I did a whole episode on this that even the full episode no one can debunk. But this one key point, I would like to see anyone that is a flat earther anybody no matter who they are anybody to debunk that so that's the yeah. yeah. rastafari you know I'm, I'm encouraging you to continue to listen to the mystic vibration yeah? mystic vibration is every monday tuesday wednesday and thursday at the hour of 6 uh, p.m on radio and radio and new.com i mean the the link is all always in the description man just go down below and press the link radio and .com, the international flavor the universal spice you know and of course remember you can definitely subscribe to the mystic vibration and when you subscribe to the mystic vibration you get a, a copy of the mystic vibration in your email inbox each and every single day information just keep coming all you have to do is contact me man and i'll tell you exactly how to literally you know subscribe towards the mystic vibration and of course subscribe to the youtube channel as well mm -hmm. give the video some thumbs up yeah so give thanks and of course i'm definitely looking forward to seeing you on the 21st day of december don't forget about the 21st day of december now we gotta be right here in antigua you know we're hiking the green castle hill mount anu you know, just make sure you tell your family and friends I'm going down to be with Priest Kidemi Shalom Isaac and we're hiking to Mount Anu, the Stonehenge of the Caribbean to see all these wonderful megaliths that align with the Southern Cross, that align with Orion's Belt, that align with Andromeda, that align with the stars. Holy Manuel I. Yes, I am new flower is on the ends. Representing the flames. Yo, the one after the honorable priest Isaac. <laughs> Some boy for know this. Yeah, man. Antigua are the place where priest Isaac dwell. Ancient Israel, ancient story if they tell. Yes, yes. Up a lalibella where the monk them a dwell. With them mescal, them a broke evil spell. Priest Isaac is an angel. Mystic vibration is an angel. And them nago rebel. 
In a Zion we wait well. When we broke for them spell. With Isaac is an angel. Yes, he my angel. Mm-hmm. His foundations in the Wola mountain. With Isaac on the Wola mountain. In black a reverence on the Wola mountain. Him chant a psalm on the Wola mountain. But never hesitate for yell the king. I tell the eyes are all So proud yes to be an offspring. Mystic vibration of the people they must sing. Angel. Mystic vibration is an angel. And them now go with them. In a Zion way him do. When we broke feed them spell. Priest Isaac is an angel. Yes, he my angel. Priest Isaac is an angel. Mystic vibration is an angel. And them now go with them. In a Zion way we dwell. When we broke feed them spell. Priest Isaac is an angel. Yes, he my angel. Trot on the banks of the gully Isaac trod it through the hills and the valley Trod it through the town, through the bloody city Highly, 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 highly always with we Highly, 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 highly I protect we Highly, 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 I would never leave